Hi students, today we are discussing some previous years asked questions in the chapter differential equations. Okay, let us discuss some questions in the differential equations. In 2019 March, the first question is the order of the differential equation formed by B C plus sin x plus b cos x plus c small c where capital A and capital B are the arbitrary constants is the order of the differential equation here the answer is 2 the order of the differential equation depends upon the number of arbitrary constants present in the differential equation isn't it in the second question solve the differential equation c square x tan y into dx plus c square y tan x into dy is equal to 0 it is a variable separable differential equation here c square x into tan y into dx plus c square y into tan x into dy is equal to 0 to make the different to make this differential equation into variable separable. The variable separable means a differential equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. That is, coefficient of dx is function of x and coefficient of dy is a function of y, isn't it? Therefore, dividing this differential equation by here coefficient of dx should be a function of x so we have to remove tan y coefficient of dy is a function of y so we have to eliminate tan x therefore dividing this equation by tan x tan y dividing by tan x into tan y therefore tan 6 square x tan y divided by 6 square x tan y divided by tan x into tan y into dx plus again 6 square y into tan x divided by tan x into tan y into dy is equal to 0 here tan x tan x and tan y tan y get cancelled now 6 square x divided by tan x into dx plus 6 square y divided by tan y into dy is equal to 0 now is in variable separable this differential equation is in variable separable if a differential equation is in variable separable then we can find its solution by integrating the given equation. Now therefore integrating we have integral of 6 square x by tan x of into dx plus integral of 6 square y by tan y into dy is equal to integral of 0 is a constant. The derivative of a constant is 0 so integral of 0 is a constant. Now the numerator is the differential coefficient of denominator so integral of the function is logarithm of the denominator here 6 square x is the derivative of tan x so integral of the function is log tan x here we have log tan x log modulus of tan x similarly here log modulus of tan y log modulus of tan y is equal to here we can write as log c because c is an arbitrary constant so c can be written as log c now log a plus log b is log a b log tan x into tan y is equal to log c eliminating log on both sides and uh, it implies that tan x into tan y is equal to c is the Solution of this differential equation, isn't it? In 2019 say examination, there is only one question. The question is form the differential equation of the family of circles touching the x-axis at point 2. 
formation of the Cartesian equation. Here, C is x coordinate is 0, y coordinate, let me take A. Let C 0 A be the center and A be the radius. Radius of a circle of a family of circles touching the x axis at origin, touching the x axis at origin. Here we have to find the differential equation. Of S for four circles touching the x axis of origin, isn't it? The equation is equation of circle is what x minus s the whole square plus y minus a the whole square is equal to r square. Here x minus 0 the whole square plus y minus a the whole square is equal to a and a square. Radius of the circle is a. So x square plus y square minus 2ay plus a square is equal to a square. So here we have x square plus y square is equal to a1, isn't it? Now differentiating here we have only one arbitrary constant, so we have to differentiate only one time. Differentiating with respect to x, so 2x plus y into dy by dx is equal to 2a into dy by dx, isn't it? Now dividing 4 by 2, here we can eliminate all 2's and uh, dy by dx, a dy by dx is equal to a dy by dx is equal to x plus y into y into dy by dx from this we can find the value of the arbitrary constant uh, x plus we into dy by dx uh, whole divided by dy by dx, isn't it? Here we can find the value of the arbitrary constant. Now substituting the value of a here, we have x square plus y square is equal to 2y into now the value of a is x plus y into dy by dx divided by dy by dx. Now cross multiplying we have dy by dx of into x square plus y square is equal to now 2xy plus 2y square into dy by dx, isn't it? Now removing the bracket x square dy by dx plus y square into dy by dx and uh, then we take this term to l axis, so minus 2y square into dy by dx and uh, this is equal to 2x now, x square into dy by dx uh, minus 2y square plus y square minus y square minus y square into dy by dx, isn't it? Here we have minus 2y square, here 1y square, so minus y square dy by dx is equal to 2xy. Therefore, dy by dx uh, into x square minus y square is equal to x y. Therefore, dy by dx of is equal to 2xy by x square minus y square is the differential equation. Is the differential equation. For this way, we can form a differential equation if a family of curves is in the year 2018 March, the first question is 
find the general solution of the differential equation x dy by dx plus dy is equal to x square log x. The first question is x dy by dx plus dy is equal to x square into log x. Now it is in this standard form. Here dividing to root by x. Dividing by x. So we have dy by dx plus 2y x into y. Here x into log x. Isn't it? Now this differential equation is in a standard form. dy by dx plus py is equal to q. And this equation is known as a linear differential equation. For linear differential equation, here p is equal to 2 by x and q is equal to x into log x. Now find integral periods. Integral periods is integral of 2 by x into dx. 2 is a constant. 1 by x is log mod x. Mod x is not needed in the case of differential equation. You just write 2 log x. Now find out e raised to integral periods. That is e raised to 2 log x. That is e raised to log x square. Here we are using a rule for logarithm. n log m is equal to log m raised to n. That is 2 log x is equal to log x square. And uh, one more rule is there. e raised to log x is equal to x. e raised to log x square is equal to therefore it is x square. e raised to log x is x so e raised to log x square is x square. Isn't it? Now we find Q into e raised to integral periods. Here Q is x log x into e raised to integral with x is x square. So we get x cube log x. Now find integral q into e raised to integral with x into x. Now integrating the function q e raised to integral with x. So here it can be written as log x into x cube. We don't know the integral value of log x. So we should write log x as the first function and the x cube as the second function. So here this is u and this is v. Now integrating we have first function into integral of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4 minus integral of the derivative of log x is 1 by x into here it is x raised to 4 by 4 into this x raised to 4 same integral value same now x raised to 4 by 4 log x minus 1 by 4 into integral of x cube dx x raised to 4 by x is x cube now the integral value of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4 log x minus 1 by 4 into again we have x raised to 4 by 4 plus c. Now this function here we can take 1 by 16. Here it can return as 4x raised to 4 divided by 16 log x minus x raised to 4 by 16 plus c. Here we can take x raised to 4 by 16 into 4 log x minus 1 plus c. This is the integral value of q e raised to integral periods. Now solution of this differential equation is solution is y into e raised to integral periods is equal to integral of q e raised to integral periods in dx plus c. This is the Equation to find the differential equation. So y into e raised to integral periods is x square. 
the integral of this function is x raised to 4 divided by 16 into 4 log x minus 1 plus c. In 2018 say, the first question is write the integrating factor of the linear differential equation dy by dx plus d by x is equal to sin x. We have done in the previous years question. In the linear differential equation here p is equal to it is in the standard form. So p is 1 by, c, 1 by x, p is 1 by x. Integral p dx of is equal to integral of 1 by x into dx that is log x. Here is to integral p dx that is the integrating factor. Integrating factor is here is to integral p dx that is here is to log x sum. Here is log x is x. This is the integrating factor of the differential equation. We don't want to solve this differential equation because uh, we want to find the integrating factor only, isn't it? Now second question. Slope of the tangent to the curve. Slope of the tangent is equal to slope of the tangent to the curve. Curve is equal to twist the x coordinates that is to x. Slope of the tangent is dy by dx is equal to x. So dy is equal to 2x into dx is in variable separable first type. So integrating we have integral of dy is equal to integral of 2x dx. Integral of dy is y. 2 into integral of x is x square by 2 plus c. Therefore, y is equal to x square plus c. This is equation number 1. This is the general solution of the differential equation. But in this question, we want to find the particular solution because the curve passes from point is the 1. Since 1 passes through 1, 4, we have here x is 1, b is 4, so 4 is equal to 1 square plus c and uh, therefore c is equal to 4 minus 1, 3. Substituting in 1 we have, we have y is equal to x square plus c, 3, instead of c right 3. This is the equation of the curve, isn't it? I think you could understand the problems I have solved here. Okay, bye.